Thank you so much for signing up at CPA Dreams Online Review School. So, tax and accounting concepts of accrual and cash basis. Okay, we need to distinguish. Okay, because the companies can use uh, cash and accrual. Okay, but usually uh, it's accrual basis. Okay, so let's have a distinction no? when it comes to tax accounting. Okay, now actually uh, there are similarity and there are exemption. Okay, for example, in uh, advanced income, advanced income received, okay, it's already taxable. Okay, meaning even if the services are not yet rendered and you receive the money, then it should be taxable. So, meaning this is advanced income and taxable upon receipt. For example, on sale of services, if you are having a contract for a specific uh, six months period of auditing, okay, let's say or, uh, you need to audit a company for the six months and uh, they paid you in advance, okay? Even if the accounting period is not yet finished, this should be considered as income and it will be already taxable okay so this is based on the lifeblood doctrine and ability to ability to pay theory because you have already the ability to pay back the government second in terms of prepaid expense they are non-deductible okay why because prepaid expenses are advance payment for expenses of future taxable periods so these are not deductible against the gross income in the year paid. Okay, so tatandaan, kabaliktaran naman siya ng advance payment. Since you cannot deduct this in your income because the future period, uh, dun pa lang siya mag expired upon consumption. So it is not deductible. Next, uh, a special tax accounting requirement could be followed and should be followed. Okay, so there are cases where the tax law itself provides for a specific accounting treatment for an income or expense. The specified method must be observed even if it departs from the basis of regularly employed taxpayers in keeping his books. Okay, so there are some uh, special tax uh, accounting treatment or requirement na kailangan nating i-follow. Okay, for example, no, sa installment method. Okay, so di ba meron tayong rules dyan na kailangan 25% ito yung amount na kailangan mong bayaran. Now, how to calculate gross income under uh, accrual basis and under cash basis. Okay, for the tax accrual basis, income is determined. So your cash income, then your accrued income, then advanced income. So that will be the total is your gross income. Okay, this is in tax accrual basis. Now, for the expenses under tax accrual basis, you have cash expenses, accrued expenses, amortization of prepayments and depreciation of capital expenditure. Then, you will have your total deductions. Now, for the tax cash basis, you have cash income and advanced income only. That will be your gross income. So, meaning you did not include your accrued income okay next for the tax cash basis expenses okay it's very simple you only have cash expense and then amortization of prepayments and depreciation of capital expenditures that will be your total deductions we did not include the accrued expense okay. thank you so much for watching and listening to this video lesson if you haven't done so, please click the subscribe button.